Hey everybody, KC here. So as you can kind of see, they're breaking things down. Uh, the Organic Produce Summit uh, for 2024 is over. Uh, as always, it was an absolutely terrific show. Um, the educational sessions were terrific. Uh, the, uh, the exhibit floor was amazingly energetic. Uh, this is such a really interesting community and I've been I've been so lucky to be able to be invited back every year uh, to be part of it. Um, the uh, the keynote sessions were really really good. Uh, Nick Bertram, uh, who is the president and CEO of Flash Food, was here, and you know he was talking about the the basically the cultural, the nutritional, and the environmental issues re um, that are created by food waste, and talking about ways in which the retailers and the manufacturers, producers in the room, um, could help. Uh, his company and the digital marketplace that they have created deal with that issue. And uh, really, really interesting. We got to get Nick Bertram on Morning News Beats to talk a little bit more about that because I think, you know, uh, they're doing the Lord's work in a lot of different ways. And I think it's a really interesting business model. Uh, we also had Sherry Fry, who's the VP of Total Wellness with uh, Nielsen IQ. And she was talking a lot about demographics. And one of the points that she was making was that different demographic groups engage with organic produce differently. Uh, baby boomers, different than Gen Z, different than Gen Y, different than millennials. And um, her point was, it's really important for the industry to understand those differences and to talk to those groups differently as they're trying to get them more engaged with organic produce. And it was really all about storytelling, and that's incredibly important. We talk about that a lot here on Morning Newsbeat. There was also a breakout session about e uh, organic produce and e-commerce, and they were talking a lot about storytelling as well. And one of the points that they were making was that um, uh, you know, e-commerce and, and, and digital platforms actually create a really great opportunity for storytelling. Uh, one of the companies that was up there was a company called Good Eggs, which is a California-based e-grocery company. They do e-commerce, and uh, I really don't know much about them. But I went on their site, and they do an excellent job talking about product, talking about the sources of products. Really, really good. And so storytelling really really important and quite frankly storytelling played a role in the uh, the session that i moderated in which we had robbie cruz the vp of produce at target and uh, patrick haynes the vp of produce at unfi talking about the things that they're trying to do and listen they've got different issues right um robbie's got all these stores and patrick is trying to work with a lot of independent retailers but they're both talked a lot about how um, they need to, they, they, one of the things they really want to do is improve their storytelling skills, to talk to customers differently about organic produce. And uh, like I said, they have different kinds of challenges, but it was a really, really interesting session. I hope to be able to share more of that with you going forward. Anyway, uh, that's the end of 2024 Organ Organic Produce Summit. God, I hope they invite me for back in 2025. That's what's on my mind. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.